Welcome back to our strength training for beginner series. Today we're going to teach you one of the exercises we use to transition people from the hinge movement to the lift movement. So if we are serious about getting stronger, the hinge and the lift are two of the most important movements to understand. But again, for something that's so simple, there are a lot of small things that can go wrong, which is why we like to have these kind of step-by-step -step progressions to make sure that we can learn everything without stressing our back or stressing our knees or any other joint that might get injured. So we really wanna be safe with this. So today what we're covering is the weighted hip hinge. So before you move on to this, it's really important you have a solid understanding of how to perform the hinge without weight. And now all we're gonna be doing is adding a little bit of weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a kettlebell, but you can use a dumbbell, you can get creative, you can use bags of rice, water, uh, cast iron pot I've heard people use. Really anything you have available that's gonna add a little bit of weight to it. First thing, you're gonna start with your hips, or sorry, your feet, hip width apart. The arms are gonna be relaxed. So again, not so relaxed that it's dragging you down like this, but it's not kind of an active hold with the elbows bent there. It's really just staying in front of you. And then all we're gonna do is perform our hinge movement. So again, remember the cues that we need that we learned in our previous video about how to hip hinge, where we start with loose knees, we reach our hips back, so I'm not bending forward, keeping a straight spine, and stopping just when I feel tension in the hamstrings. Again, I could go lower, but that's where I start rounding at the spine, which is not what we want for a hinge or a lift movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what that looks like. Loose knees, hips back, straight spine, stopping once I feel tension at the hamstrings. I'll do a couple, but again, the weight's actually kind of nice because it really helps you feel that tension in the back of the hamstrings. There you have it. So this is again, weighted hip hinge. The one thing to keep in mind is that I like to think of the weight pulling me straight down. There should be no forward movement of the weight. Sometimes that happens and again, that's the difference of bending forward at the hips versus reaching the hips back. So what we don't want is that bending forward of the trunk and you can see how the weight starts to travel forward. I like to think the weight is pulling me straight down while I reach my hips back. Allow my knees to bend without actively bending and back up. So there you have it. That's the weighted hip hinge. I'm Dr. Carl Baird. This is Performance Healthcare Online. Thanks so much for walking, watching, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below.